It's part one of our interview with the great Richie Fiore. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. As a former member of the groundbreaking group Buffalo Springfield, also a former member of Poco, and the Souther Hillman Fiore Band, just to mention a few. It's no wonder he's a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. For more details, go to his website, richiefure.com. He'll have a live stream coming up on August 27th, and you can sign up. Here's part one of our conversation. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, how did that feel being inducted? Well, you know what? I, I'll be honest with you, John. I mean, it, it is a great honor, but there is an awful lot of politics involved in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And for that, you know, it doesn't seem as, um, I don't know, as, as I, I mean, listen, it's a big deal. I'm happy, I'm thankful, and I'm honored. Uh, I still believe that, uh, you know, some of the people that are in there um, shouldn't be, and maybe some of the people that should be aren't. And I also believe that some of the criteria for what they recognize a person for, listen, Poco pioneered a genre of music. And maybe because, you know, until, uh, you know, Crazy Love came out, you know, there wasn't this quote unquote hit that, that, but that's what it's really based upon. But man, we pioneered, we, I mean, Glenn Fry made acknowledgement from, you know, the stage on numerous occasions that you can see it on YouTube, you know, that there wouldn't be an Eagles who was probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest American band that there is, you know, and, and he, and, you know, he, he would acknowledge, you know, the, you know, Poco's role that they played in that. And, and I just think a group like Poco, you know, I mean, who, who pioneered and opened the door. Somebody's got to open the door for people. You know, they've got to open the door. And, and for Poco not to be acknowledged, I think, is, is an insult to be, to be dissed in such a way simply because we didn't have a quote-unquote hit record. Does being a pioneer does not really mean anything to, you know, it's not like we're nobodies. Because, you know, we did open the door for, a, I mean, for a whole genre of music. Let's face it. <laughs> and that's what it's supposed so, to be about. Remember, let's remember the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, their criteria is supposed to be the influence and pioneering. And because whenever I get, you know, people bitch every year when I release the names and I, I say go to town, you know, but <laughs> but because you wouldn't believe the, the, the amount of feedback we get when we announce the winners and, and the names, the nominees. But their criteria, part of the criteria is supposed to be how much influence you've had. Right. You know, that, that, that stream of whatever that sound was over here, over here. And Poco certainly was that. Well, and it's just like Poco being dissed on some of these films that just came out. Like on, you know, I mean, I got a chance to really, you know, do an, do an interview for the last one that did the Laurel Canyon. But, you know, the first two that came out, you know, uh, the, uh, the Ken Burns, I think is the guy's name. Is that name familiar? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't even a mention of Poco. I mean, it's like, are you kidding me? Now, there was a mention of Graham Parsons. Uh, why? Because he's dead? Uh, what, you know, or played with the role, or, you know, intertwined with the Rolling Stones or what? But you mean, Poco did not, because he was building up to country music influence in, you know, and it started this whole six series uh, video, you know, and Poco's not mentioned? I mean, I don't get it. I'm sorry, but I, um, it's like, I, I don't think about this on a daily basis, but we're having an interview, so I talk about it, you know? Of course. That, I mean, I feel like, I feel like Poco has been dissed, and we, we were there, man. I mean, we, we, we pioneered it. We stood up when no one else was playing that kind of music, and we went, you know, we went after something new. We put our necks on the line. Yeah. How do your friends react all of a sudden, you know, that first Buffalo Springfield, you must, you were all over the place. You were part of the vibe, man. You were, that was such a huge influential time. How did they react? They were all very proud, very, very happy to, you know, they, they, they've been nothing but support. And, um, you know, it's just, it's really cool to just see how they, uh, cause they've all been, you know, they've been, they, they've been successful in their life and, and all, but, uh, you know, they, certainly don't have a name that, you know, you might plug my name into Google and it'll pop up, you know, their name. I don't know whether it's going to pop up or not, but uh, very, uh, very, very happy for me. And uh, it was so funny when we had our 50th, I never went to any of my high school reunions until the 50th reunion. Were you too busy? And You're probably too busy. 
Yeah, but it wasn't a big deal that I wanted to really do. We went to my wife Nancy's, I think, 25th, and it was such a bust. I mean, it was like, and she went to, in Granada Hills. She graduated from the high, same high school John Elway graduated. I mean, he graduated several years later after her, man. But, uh, I mean, great, big, huge class, hundreds of people. You know, my, my, my graduating class, we had 45 people in it. <laughs> so it was, it was a small thing. And when I, when I went back... Um, it, it was interesting, you know, uh, one of the, the coaches was there and uh, he was, he was one of, you know, we were, at, we, we wanted to always play sports in high school, you know, that's when I almost gave up my musical thing, wanting to play sports, but uh, it, it was so funny, um, you know, uh, one of the, I went up and said hi to, to you know, Coach Eddie and, he, and uh, we talked, you know, for a few minutes and then one of the guys talked to him and said, you know, he's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And the guy went nuts, you know, he went nuts at the time. And it just changed on a whole different, whole different setting, you know, but it was, it was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> we'll have more with Richie Fure coming up next week. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. Buy a t-shirt, help support our channel. Links at the very top of the description of this video. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music.